Hey guys, hope you are doing well today. Today is 8th of September after one day that El Salvador just accepted Bitcoin as a legal tender. That was a Bitcoin day yesterday and also a huge dump happened on the market. So definitely check out the yesterday video what I think uh, about this dump. So I'm Mike Denkler from Corionex and bringing you the most important cryptocurrency news every day with technical analysis, altcoin uh, gems and DeFi NFT stuff. Let's share my screen and let's check our favorite bubble chart, how the market is performing today. So yes, so as yesterday, almost all the altcoins except maybe Solana and, uh, and Phantom uh, just uh, uh, dropped uh, almost 15 20 percent now also you see that most of the coins are in red just near protocol algorand and iost pumping but today ftm and also solana is correcting a little bit if uh, we are checking the next 100 batch we see that uh, just idex uh, after this uh, nice run up uh, all other coins are in minus some are like uh, swipe uh, 25 percent so you see that it's uh, just a huge sale out there yeah and in the next 100 batch that we see few coins pumping that most of the coins also these defined coins like wide is dumping so as we check bitcoin is down almost eight percent ethereum down also eight percent and just few coins are up so that uh, was from big from the crypto market almost 300 billion us dollar was vanished yesterday let's check our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index and but um as you see we arrived from the extra greed 79 from yesterday to 47 so we dropped back to the neutral zone there is nothing uh, there is no problem with that as you see we spent almost three months in the extreme uh, fear zone and just after a few days of uh, staying in the neutral zone the index shoot it up to the greed zone and now dropped back and so um and you know that extreme fear that could be a sign that investors are too worried then that is a good buying opportunity when investors get into greedy then is due for a correction but we were just uh, two weeks here so i don't think that is due for a correction but a correction is happened is it a neutral correction is it that uh, some whales are taking profits or is it a manipulation maybe from some uh, entities that uh, um, don't like that El Salvador accepted bitcoin as a legal tender maybe imf or world bank or whatever or 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 opposite parties or opposite countries or this is just ways manipulating the market because they wanna buy more so that's the question let's find out together bitcoin dumps seven thousand to below forty three thousand us dollar as 2.6 billion liquidated in minutes okay so we we see that within uh, almost this was the uh, this is a 15 minutes chart if yeah this is an hourly chart so you see almost in 15 minutes also uh 2.7 billion us dollar worth of long positions were liquidated mostly from bybit and uh, also on other exchanges so that is uh, uh these things happening when the market is over leveraged and also uh, lots of traders on Bybit just uh, starting trading without any professional knowledge, just jumping in because uh, registering on other YouTubers' uh, links and then uh, de depositing a month, starting to trade be be before learning uh, anything about trading. So that's a big problem. And also uh, maybe the market was uh, over leveraged a little, little bit after this uh short period of time okay so our next piece of news this one fundamental factor separates bitcoin from all other crypto assets according to macro strategist lynn Aden. 
Okay, so she says, quote, I could copy Wikipedia, I could post Wikipedia on my website, and the question is, would I get anywhere near the traffic that Wikipedia gets? Of course, the answer is no. I can copy all the tags that there is, but I can copy the network effect. Specifically, I cannot copy the millions and millions of links around the internet pointing to the real Wikipedia. And I can copy the active users base that constantly updates Wikipedia. Bitcoin has the network effect. So this is how you are comparing Bitcoin with other cryptos and also to other existing technologies. The years of liquidity and nodes that make the network very usable take a long time to develop. It's harder to do than other DeFi projects or a blockchain. And so BTC now has multiple layers of network effects built on top of it. So these are like lightning networks or will be the taproot and other layers. The security is higher, the development is more secure, and there is features being built on top of it. Overall, that's what separates Bitcoin from other tokens, and it's mainly why we view that on one as money and everything as, at best, equity, or at worst, a scam compared to Bitcoin itself. Okay, so nice takeaway from Lynn. Uh, great uh, interview. Definitely watch uh, it. Our next piece of news, after El Salvador accepting Bitcoin as a legal tender, Panama goes further. Panama, to recognize Bitcoin as payment alternative, issues new regulations. So Panama is aiming at, uh, to give resi residents of the country the freedom to start using cryptos like Ether and BTC. So they will accept and they will use other cryptos, not just Bitcoin, also ethereum so the aim uh, the bill aims to make pa panama compatible with the internet blockchain and crypto assets so uh, also they want uh, the economy to improve and uh, crypto be integrated in the economy okay yes and also they will uh adding Ethereum, the native token of the Ethereum blockchain. Silva distributed, Silva is the president, the, the document and the cryptos will serve as a global alternative payment method. This will be for all commercials or civil operations not banned by the Republic of Panama legal system. There will be a multidisciplinary team uh, who are working on, the, on this and yeah uh, panama's new legislation doesn't make bitcoin acceptance obligatory it only establishes the freedom of crypto use in the country that's huge and also they want to attract crypto uh, entrepreneurs uh, supporting with them with different resources so definitely check out this news about panama our next piece of news, El Salvador. Yes, El Salvador largest newspaper adds Bitcoin price to homepage. And there is a price uh, ticker. So if you are looking into El Salvador uh, leading newspaper that you see the Bitcoin price there and update it in every minute. So yesterday it was at 50,500. Now it is around 45,000 after this huge drop. And uh, definitely check out the yesterday video because I'm talking about how, how uh, El Salvador bought the dip. And this is important to understand what's happening and with countries adopting crypto and buying the dip. So this is a total different situation where countries buying the dip. So definitely come here to Corionex YouTube channel and watch this El Salvador bought the dip video. So watch this El Salvador bought the video. And guys, please smash the like, push the bell notification, or with liking this video, you are helping others to find us and get some juicy education about crypto. Our next piece of news is you can now mint NFTs on crypto exchange FTX. You know, FTX is the crypto exchange from Sam Bank uh, Feed Alameda, and uh, they are 
So Sam Bankman Fried and the Alameda Research, and they are building a really, really uh, competitive exchange also to Binance, to Coinbase. And also Sam Bankman Fried is um, uh, supporting the Solana ecosystem. So uh, this is how, uh, why is Solana also so successful? So definitely check out uh, this. And uh, I think we can expect other exchanges like Binance, OKX also will enter this NFT pace. But it seems to be that now you can mint. So not just buy and sell, but you can mint your own collection on FTX. And also they made the platform interoperable, also using Ethereum and Solana's blockchain. And this is huge. 5% will be charged for the buyers and 5% for the sellers. So in total, 10% what they are charging. So yeah, maybe the fees are not so high when you want to mint on Ethereum. Uh, and at least also they have uh, millions of users. So there is a community uh, who can buy uh, these NFTs. So it's really, really major news today. Other news. Former Libra director joins Polkadot Builder. Bernard Perez is joining the Web3 Foundation as chief operating officer after resigning from the Facebook link in July. So it's interesting because he's not the first who is resigning Libra, but maybe Libra is ready and then just waiting for the launch and uh, people who build are just living at, to find another other building opportunities. So web, they, he's joining Web3 Foundation, a backer of Polkadot blockchain and Pol Polkadot ecosystem. Paris joined Deem Libra, as it was known, in early 2019. And formerly, he worked also uh, by PayPal. So he is really professional in this field, building disruptive technology. Our next piece of news is... Breaking news, IOG confirms Cardano smart contracts launch on mainnet for September. So guys, Cardano price, EDA price just uh, dumped yesterday. There was a rumor that smart contracts are not working. There is a bug and, and, and so on and so on. But it, uh, uh, some uh, YouTubers and investigators found out that some Redditors that uh, maybe they are a, a fan of other blockchains started this war against Cardano, but there was no real evidence uh, what they stated. And now it seems that uh, official the, 20, uh, the, the 12th of September launch. So we take your eyes on Cardano. Yesterday it touched two US dollar. So maybe that was a good opportunity to buy the dip. But now this fat storm is over. So we'll see if Cardano can deliver or not. So you see Cardano went down to two US dollar. But now we are at 2.4, around 2.4. Our next piece of news, one of our major use of the news outlet today, the SEC threatens to shoo Coinbase over crypto yield program it considers a security. Uh, Quote from Brian Armstrong, they refuse to tell us why they think it's a security and instead uh, subpoena a bunch of records from us, said Brian Armstrong after he revealed that the SEC threatened to shoe Coinbase. They refuse to tell us why they think it's a security and instead subpoena a bunch of record, uh, records from us, demand testimony from our employees, and then tell us they will be suing us if we proceed to launch with zero explanation as to why. So you can check out this on also on Twitter. They have only told us that they are assessing our land product through the prism of decades old Supreme Court cases called Hoovy and Reeves. The SEC won't share the assessment itself, only the fact that they have done it. So it's really insane. So SEC is applying this, um, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, yeah, this is the name, and they are, uh, they are uh, working and applying the uh, US security law that is from, listen, 19, 
27. So almost 100 years old. There was no internet. There was no blockchain. There was no crypto. How, how, uh, how in the hell uh, some want to make comply a technology that uh, hasn't uh, existed in that time. So I, I, I'm really shocked on this. And also I know that there are other companies in the US also providing this. So what, uh, uh, what they um, figured out that they don't like that uh, Coinbase is offering 4% on the USDC uh, deposits. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are other uh, other compliant companies in the uh, US, uh, regulated companies, that uh, they are offering even higher percentage to the clients. Same news as SEC lawsuit looms, Coinbase CEO describes the agency's behavior as sketchy. So <laughs> maybe it's... Um, just the software for this guys yeah, so this is quite interesting somebody thought that uh, because this dropped the bitcoin price and the crypto market cap but i don't think so uh, this is uh, just a, a news so not because this dropped and that was the news yesterday to celebrate that el salvador made bitcoin a legal tender and are dropping to every el salvador citizens 30 us dollar there was this movement that thousands of people plan to buy for the US dollar of Bitcoin to celebrate El Salvador. So if you did that, then appreciate and, and well done. If not, let's go, let's go and buy at least 30 US dollar worth of Bitcoin. And it's really cheap. It's much cheaper than, than yesterday. So you should definitely go and join this movement. So let's check the bitcoin price as you see we have this huge daily candle it was a drop almost from fifty-three thousand, the low to forty-two thousand five hundred, almost 19 percent drop and then bounced back and now we are at forty-seven thousand, a little bit consolidating and as you see on the four hourly and let's check the hourly. So now a, a, a small spike in the Bitcoin price, but uh, maybe the dump can continue. Uh, one reason that uh, there was a, a lot of over leverage longs, uh, especially on Bybit, and there was a long squeeze here. They were liquidated and that was a, a chain effect when uh, the sell, um, sell orders, uh, and stop loss orders, liquidation orders, sell orders uh, got uh, activated. Uh, so, and uh, and also the other that maybe IMF did this or some IMF friendly uh, Bitcoin holder did this. Just show to El Salvador that uh, uh, they are not happy that uh, they they adopted Bitcoin. And the third um, third. Uh, scenario that maybe whales just manipulating the market and the whales wanting to shake out all, all your bitcoins and buying up all your bitcoins uh, with threatening people and uh, uh, and with this dump so as you see also we talked about ada ada went down to two us dollar now back to 2.4 us dollar and all other coins dumped almost 20 or even more percentage but guys, as I believe that we are in the bull market, but you know, nothing in this channel can be considered as financial advice. So do your own research. It's just for educational purposes. But I think we are still in the bull market. And as you see, uh, Ethereum also dropped to 3000. So guys, this is so cheap buying Ethereum at 3000. Now we are back to 3400. So I think, uh, then the market will recover and also the money will uh, uh, flooding back in, on the market. Uh, FTM is doing great. Uh, I think uh, maybe bottoming out here so that can give a good buying opportunity because FTM is, is really uh, going, uh, going hard in the developments and also FTT, the token of the FTX exchange is doing well and Solana 
is correcting. Also, Solana is doing this triangle, almost the same chart like FTA, FTM. So I think uh, buying up some Solana around 150, that would make sense. Yesterday, it just dipped at 131. So guys, this is some pure and simple technical analysis. Definitely, you should watch out and you should uh, take a look on on the uh, tokens that dipped and not recovered because that can uh, provide a higher ROIs for, for the next few uh, weeks and months. So uh, please join the Corionex, uh, join the Corionex uh, Telegram channel. You find the link in the description and then we are sharing different news and also uh, different uh, things. Uh, so definitely join our channel and also uh, like this video, subscribe to this, this video and share with your friends. And also you should look out for our uh, <coughs> DeFi apps, both on Binance Smart Chain and also on Ethereum. You can come and uh, provide liquidity and earn 233, 420 and also 330 uh, percent APRs on our farm, depending on in which pairs, pairs uh, do you provide liquidity and staking your liquidity pool tokens. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you find it useful. Please smash the like, subscribe, push the bell notification and see you tomorrow. Don't worry. The market is manipulated. It's the entire crypto market is small. The manipulation is going on. But as you see back and you see back for, let's say, uh, let's check this uh, market cap. So this is the market cap chart. And if you are looking on the entire crypto market cap, you will find, let's make, put this on the weekly. You will find that, yes, we have some downside. We have some drops. We have some manipulations, but it's just getting 10 times, 20 times, 100 times higher so i'm confident for the future we are doing some developments we'll announce when we are ready with it so uh, see you tomorrow bye bye